Have you ever wondered what the world of robotics will look like 500 years from now? Just take a moment to consider the sheer possibilities. Right now, we're living in an age where robotics is still in its infancy. Yet even at this stage, we're witnessing the advent of robots that can perform tasks with an accuracy and precision that was once unimaginable. Imagine a future where this technology has advanced to a point of hyper-specialization. Robots could become incredibly skilled in narrow fields. They might be performing intricate surgeries with a precision that surpasses the most skilled human surgeon. Or constructing massive space structures piece by piece in the unforgiving vacuum of space. Or even exploring the harshest environments, from the crushing depths of our oceans to the volatile surfaces of alien planets, with a level of resilience and adaptability that no human could ever hope to match. So, we are just at the cusp of what could be an era of hyper-specialized robots. But what if robots go beyond mere tasks and become conscious entities? A question that has been a mainstay of science fiction is now on the horizon of becoming a reality. This is the concept of advanced AI, a future where robots may develop levels of consciousness beyond our current understanding. Imagine a machine capable of independent thought, of feeling, of understanding. A machine that is not just a tool, but a conscious entity. This is not just about creating a smarter robot, but about birthing a new form of life. But with this potential comes profound ethical questions. If a machine can think and feel, does it have rights? How do we interact with a conscious machine? And what happens when it's the machine teaching us, instead of the other way around? These are questions we must grapple with as we stand on the precipice of this new era. The advent of conscious machines could redefine what it means to be alive. In a future where robots are indistinguishable from humans, where do we draw the line? As we advance, we could see the creation of humanoid companions, robots so lifelike, so human, that they become friends, caretakers, even romantic partners. We're not talking about machines doing tasks, but entities living amongst us, sharing our world in the most intimate ways. And it doesn't stop there. Picture the hybrid forms, the merging of human and machine brain-computer interfaces, biological components integrated into robots, the boundaries of what we consider human, shifting, blurring. The line between human and machine becomes less a boundary and more a spectrum, a continuum on which we all exist. But with these advancements come complex social scenarios. How do we relate to these beings? How do they fit into our society? And what does this mean for our own humanity? In a world where man and machine become one, the evolution of robots could indeed be the evolution of humanity itself.